So this is the uh, beginning of the coding. Uh, I, you probably already have uh, unzipped the 114 file from the content section, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again, even though I showed it once before, just in case you happen to be in this section. And what you do is just go ahead and double click on the CPT 114 after downloading it. And then you extract all. I'm going to put it into a 114 folder on my USB drive. So if you download it and put it where you want to extract it, which I recommend you put up a, a folder on a USB drive or on your hard drive, depending on where you want to keep your files. I like keeping everything on a USB drive so I can keep it with me wherever I go. But if you want to just use it from your hard drive, that's fine. Just make a, a folder for it so you can find it easy uh, afterwards. So this folder has all the different files you'll need for the class, except the only software I don't have on here is Notepad++, and later on I'll show you a link and how to download and install that. Um, that's a great piece of software, too big for me to add into this zip file without making this zip file way too, way too big. Um, and probably best off that you download it anyway from the software, so this way when they update it, you'll be getting the updated copy of it. The rest of the stuff in here um, so here we go and there it is all right so i can go ahead and close this we don't need this anymore there's a the 114 file and in 114 folder i have assignments software this raptor portable you're not doing until the last week of the semester um, and then I have Visual Logic. So this is our flow charting software, and this is our coding software. And then here I have all these um, assignment folders so you can keep track of what you're doing. When you do your lessons, so um, when you do your lessons, I recommend that putting your lesson files inside your assignment files just to keep everything nice and organized. All right, so let's see what we're gonna do. So the first thing on this one, I want to show you how to be able to do to document write hello world using HTML software. So we go into the HTML software folder, HTML kit, and then bin, and then HTML kit.exe. Do not do the shortcut. Shortcut doesn't work. This works right here. The shortcut is only there if you install this on your uh, computer, and I don't recommend you doing that. You should run it just from the USB drive or run it this way, and you'll get used to it as you're doing it. So again, in your 114 folder, go to HTML software, HTML kit, bin, and then HTML kit.exe. I know it seems like a pain in the neck to go there, but you'll get used to it because you'll be doing this a hundred times in that and I'll go ahead and double click on this now and that'll open up HTML kit software. So HTML kit software, this is going to run in random access memory, it's not installed on your computer. I'd rather have it that way. And again, if you put it on a USB drive, then you could take it to the library, take it to computer lab, take it to a friend's house and still be able to work on your stuff. Now on the down here, uh, you probably can't see that. It, uh, there's uh, um, a shield that opens up at the bottom. Windows 10 is blocking uh, this opening up. So what I want to do is I want to click on that. You can see it right down here. I'll click on the shield. It'll say, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? And just say yes. All right, it's not going to do anything bad. And now it opens up right here okay it's going to ask you a series of questions the answers to all these questions are no 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 except for this one let's see yeah and then no and then no and then it says do you want a new file and we'll say okay so no 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 and then okay now i'm going to um make this a little bit smaller There we go. Uh, before I start coding, I want to get rid of some stuff. So these files, we're not using these here. So I'm going to hit this little tiny X, not the big one up here, but the little tiny X here. 
And then down here, these messages, workspace, command prompt, we don't need that either. So I'm going to click on this little X right here, and that gives me nice, a lot of space for my code. And the next thing we have is, with, this is HTML kit, not JavaScript kit. So we need to get rid of all this. So you can select it and press delete. Another thing you can do is hold down your control key and press the letter A. That selects everything. And then press the delete key, and off it goes. Now, in order to code, we have to let it know that we want it, uh, that what we're writing is JavaScript. So we're going to do less than symbol script greater than symbol, then less than symbol slash script greater than symbol. Okay, so this, these are the script tags. They have to be, all your code must, must be between these two. And then what we're going to do is write one line of JavaScript. And that is document.write. So that says the document is a web page. The write method is um, code that puts it on the web page. And then inside here, I have to put what I want out. And what I want out is hello world. Hello world. And then to run this, I just come down to preview. And that's the reason why we use HTML kit. And there's hello world. Now there's another thing we could use to code. And um, I recommend you use HTML kit. All my lessons will be HTML kit. But there's another thing we can use. And I'm going to bring this down and make this smaller. And bring this up. All right, so here's another thing we can use. And that is um, JSDO sure that's it there you go so this is an online um, editor and runner uh, and what you want to do is you want to create new code look it automatically puts the script tags in there for you so you don't have to do that you don't need the this edit your script here or edit your HTML here that's just messages to you and if we go back to our HTML kit and I copy this and I paste that into HTML DO. Now to see if it works, I simply run my code. So if you have a, um, if you have a Mac or a Linux um, computer, you can't use our Chromebook, God forbid, um, or Surface. Uh, you can't run HTML kit. It only runs in a Windows environment. So you can't write your code, but you can use the JSDO. Uh, there's another one called uh, JavaScript.bin, I think, or something, JSBin. Um, and you can write it here. And then what I would like you to do is, when you get done with this, I would like you to um, copy the code, open up your uh, text editor, paste it in, and then do file, save as, and then change text to all files. And let's see, let's go to our folders. Here we go, 114, lesson one. So, this goes towards assignment. So I'll put in lesson one, and then I'll go ahead and add a folder. And I'll call this lessons. And then in here, I'll do lesson one. And then in here, I will do hello world.html. Well, actually, HTM. Let's just let's just do that. Doesn't make a difference. HTML or HTML, and then we'll save it. All right. So now <clears throat> that's done, 
And then if I go back to HTML kit, um, I can do this too. File, save. I don't want to go put it in HTML kit, so I'll go up, up, and then I'll go into my assignments, assignment one, into my lessons, lesson one, and here's my, and here I'll do, um, I'll just call it something different, and I'll call this hello world um, HTML kit. Okay, these are both the same file. So if I close this now, and I click the little yellow open file, you can see here are my two. This is what I just saved from HTML kit. And this is what I saved from um, the text file from uh, JSDO. And if I open this up, you can see it opens up just like that. So it has this extra comments in here from JSDO, but you can see it's the same and I can get rid of this and edit it if I wish uh, any way I want. So those are the two ways. I would rather you uh, send me your script to file, but another way for those people who are have Macs, um, if you try to use the word processor or the notepad or text editor in, in Apple, um, it tends to change your stuff and it's a pain in the neck. So um, another alternative that you can use is for your code is go ahead and register for a free account, then save your code and send a link in the comments section of your assignment. Um, and I'll show you that when we get to do some more uh, coding, but I wanted to show you all this. There's one last thing I want to do before we finish, and that is see how I can seek htmlkit.exe by default, that's not how computers are set up. So if I click on my View tab at the very top, so if I click on this View tab, thinking, 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 okay. You can see in these things, there's something called file name extensions. By default, this is unchecked, which means you can't see the .exe. And if I go into my lessons, and this is where the problem comes in, you don't see the .htm. So it's very important that when you open up Windows Explorer, you click on View, and you check that box so that you can see your extensions. Other than that, this class is going to be very confusing because you're going to have files called hello world.htm.htm and you're not going to understand understanding why things are not working correctly. So make sure you you do that. All right, that's it for this assignment, this uh, this little video, and we'll move on to the next.